Hey everybody, so today we're going to do another tier list, and uh, I think this weekly is really fun. I'm a really big fan of it. I think there's a couple outs depending on how you build it, and you can swap over to late game, and it makes the pivot really easy. So I think that they did a really good job on this weekly. If you do enjoy this, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. But without further ado, we have Ant, and Ant is always going to be a pretty decent pick, if not a good pick. Uh, Ant can kind of help you win a couple rounds early game, so it's usually pretty nice to pick up. Beetle, it's okay. Um, summoning the honey is nice, but then if you do that, there's like a 3-3 three, three here. Uh, an otter can help with a 3-3, three, three. an ant can help build up a 3-3. Three, three. There's a couple ways to kind of beat it, so I think it's fine. Bluebird feels pretty good, because sometimes what you can do is you can end up scaling a early unit, especially more towards tier 2, tier 3. Um, up to the point where you can have one or two strong units, especially using a, in combination with the moth. The silk moth can kind of help with that. And it can help you uh, start to build up a couple really strong units early on to mid game. Chinchilla, it's really good. Uh, Chinchilla is good because you can always buy it, sell it, and then it can let you uh, transition with a couple extra free rolls or maybe you can buy an extra unit with it. So I like it a lot. Horse, it's pretty bad. Um, the horse can kind of help you with like Beetle, for instance, once. It can maybe help you draw out a game for your second one so you heal back up. But I don't like going ma uh, horse, and I feel like it's probably one of the worst choices. Silk Moth is always going to be a great pick. Sil or Regular Moth. Regular Moth it, uh, is a 3-3 body on its own. If you level to level 2, you're going to be happy with it too. So I always feel like this is a great pick to uh, purchase. Mouse, I think mouse is good. 3-2 uh, body is good enough to trade one for one. And I still feel like the better apple, the level 2 version. What the heck? What the heck? All right. The level 2 version uh, is pretty good. Um, so I understand why people don't like mouse, but I still think it's on the good end. Uh, the otter is garbage. Um, yeah, you can land it on a silk moth and that might be okay. But you generally never want to buy otters, so I would try to avoid this at all cost. And Silk Moth, it's okay. It can kind of help with a stronger unit later on, but there's also Koala. So it kind of gets outshined pretty quickly. Uh, Apple, it's okay. And yeah, the, this triggers, triggers uh, once, this triggers twice, but it's still not really worth it. Um, Apple is okay. Honey, it's kind of bad. Uh, the summoning just isn't really that strong. Uh, crab, it's also pretty bad just because if you look at the scalers, yeah, there's penguins, yeah, there's cats, cows, but that's way into the late game. And to focus on HP on a unit, besides maybe purchasing a couple waffles, can be pretty hard to do. So the crab doesn't really shine that much. Doorhead Ant, it's, it's an okay pick. I like picking Doorhead Ant if I can't figure out what my next unit's going to be. And this will draw you or potentially win you one or two matches. So it feels pretty nice. Flamingo is a great, uh, it's a really high good pick. Flamingo plus pilling on a unit that you might keep uh, is really nice. Plus with the limited scaling options to like tier 4, tier 5. Um, Flamingo feels really good when you pill it on a unit. Even landing it on a goldfish becomes goes from a 1-5 to a 2-6. And a 2-6 is so much stronger than a 1-5. And if you can get it to 3 attack, especially with something like a bluebird, you're golden. Uh, gazelle, garbage. Don't buy gazelle. <laughs> uh, swan, it's kind of bad. There are some instances where you can purchase it. If you know you're going to lose the next round, you might as well purchase a swan. And then that way for your later rounds, maybe this can kind of help you transition to a pivot. Uh, koala, it's okay. Um, there's some high health units here that can kind of benefit from having a koala on your team, but without the yak, without the leech, it doesn't really get a shine as much as it normally would. A rat, pretty bad. I don't like going rat. I feel like there isn't many good combos for a rat. Like maybe if you see like a hippo, then it might potentially be worth it. In fact, I would say rats here. I just never buy it, even for the value of like the stats. But, um, plus there's enemy vultures, so they get extra uh procs off of it uh spider it's okay i think that spider is pretty decent in fact i would even put it on the low good end 
because if you pill it, it gives you a chance to hit a tier 3 faster. And there are a lot of good tier 3s this weekly. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot it here. Uh, stow it is also pretty good because then you can go on to tier 3, you can sell it, and then you already have one of your level ups for uh, one of your really good units. So meat on a bone, it's okay. Uh, it works really well on high health units. And there are a couple base high health units that you might want to throw this on. And even for the ones that are decently health, uh, this can help you go one for one for like a swan or something. So it kind of feels good. Rice is a great pick. Depending on how you play this weekly, there is a really good pivot coming up turn four, turn five. And rice helps you prepare for it. It feels great to pick rice. And uh, if you're losing, just throw rice on all your units. And then once you hit tier four, tier five, sell it and then build a brand new team. And you can do that mid game really easily. So it feels good. Pill is always pretty good. Um, there's not many pill targets, but the ones that can be pilled, it feels really good on. You can do something cheeky like put a peanut on a unit with a pill. You can pill a spider, which I always think is really good. Uh, so there's a couple of choices here. Aardvark garbage. There's not really much summoning this weekly, and the few that there are aren't really that good until you get to Orca late game, and then you can do something cheeky like use a walrus, things like that. But um, for the most part, it's pretty bad. Honey bear though, or just bear, I guess. I don't know if it's actually called honey bear. Is kind of okay. Just because, imagine this. You have a team of five units, right? And then you put p uh, pancakes on some of them or pies. So they've already proc their abilities. And you have a vulture in the back, which is very likely. You have a level two honey bear that dies, puts honey on two of your units, those units die, they summon bees. You just got two more procs off your vulture after statting up all your units. So, pretty good. Uh, there are chances where bear is pretty decent just because the vulture is really shining this weekly. Dodo bird, pretty good pick. Uh, gives you a reason to scale some units. You throw it behind an ox, you throw it behind a goldfish, just anyone really. And you can see uh, it generating a lot of value. Dog, garbage. There's not many summoning options again until late game, and even then they're not that great. So I feel like dog just kind of falls off. Goldfish? Goldfish is a great pick. And I would even say it's very close to god tier. Can I put it in god tier? I'm going to put it in god tier. This is my list. Uh, actually, it's really the community's list. But for me personally, goldfish is so amazing because your pivots are so amazing. Goldfish is so strong this weekly, and if you get it early enough and you utilize it right, you can transition really well and end up winning the late game. And in a 1v1 scenario, that's perfect. So I love goldfish so much. I think it's such a strong unit. Uh, Ox, it's a pretty good pick. It goes really well with Dodo Bird. Uh, you can scale up its attack a little bit. It works pretty well. Uh, it's sad with the nerfs, but there's not many summoning units anyway besides the spiders, so you're not going to proc it much. There's also not much sniping. Uh, oh, actually, there is with this hawk, uh, but I still kind of like ox. I've had a couple good runs with it. Wasp, it's okay. There are instances where you might want a wasp to one-for-one -one trade, uh, and it works pretty well. Uh, it's kind of nice because you can kind of set it and forget it, but... Uh, you could throw a waffle on it and then it becomes okay. It's just, it just depends on your roles, I guess is all I can say. I, I guess you should put it kind of in the if you must. I respect Wasp, but I know that a lot of people don't. The 2 HP is really bad. But there are some times where you actually want to run a, ro a Wasp. Uh, Weasel, it's okay. Generating gold is nice. It can help you transition through the late game. So if you pick it up, you're going to be happy. Woodpecker is very strong this weekly. I would say it's on... The god tier end and i say that because if you see a woodpecker if you see a goldfish you should always try to put them on your team you should always pick them up and i'd say woodpeckers even more so than goldfish uh that's because the inclusion of the pineapple a lot of these units will kind of stop at 4 hp maybe 6 hp so throwing a woodpecker on your team is going to feel great it'll help carry you into the mid game garlic it's pretty good uh Throwing a garlic on a unit that you manage to scale up a little bit is going to feel nice. Uh, pineapple, uh, it's only good for a woodpecker. If you see a woodpecker, it's great. If you see anything else, 
kind of on the shit end. Even for like a hawk, I'd rather throw a pancake on it usually. But you can do some shenanigans with it. Um, I'm just going to put it as okay for now. Cucumber, it's kind of bad. If I'm scaling a unit trying to beat an opponent, usually I'd rather just throw a rice on it. And that'll give me a lot more value late game. Or like a garlic or something. If there was uh, something to replace it, like a lemur, then I would say like, okay, maybe cucumber's a little bit better, but not for this instance, because then I could throw a garlic on it. Doberman is a great pick. If you're transitioning to the late game, Doberman is extremely strong, because all these tier 5s are strong, so if you have a group of tier 5s, tier 6s, plus there's Waffle, I would say uh, Doberman is right there along the god tier. I think Doberman is an amazing pick and kind of gets slept on at times. Falcon, kind of bad. Uh, normally I like running Falcon, but there's just better, stronger team picks. Uh, if you scale it up, you're going to be happy. Uh, it can help carry you through a game, but this is kind of like almost the same level of strength as picking up a Rhino this weekly. Uh, Garl, it's pretty good. I'd say it's on the okay end, but throwing a Melon Armor early on a good unit can feel really nice. A hawk is a great pick. A hawk can snipe. A hawk can snipe a weak vulture. It can sni snipe a scorpion. It can snipe an ox. There's a lot of good reasons to pick up a hawk. And it's pretty hard to argue to not pick up a hawk when you see it. Uh, just unless you're scaling your units, then it might be kind of clunky. Penguin, it's pretty good. It's a lot better than it normally is because there's not many good scaling options till mid to late game. So if you get an early penguin on a level 2 unit... You can usually out-tempo your opponent pretty well. Just throw a garlic on it. Yeah, there's skunk, but I haven't seen many skunks recently. Um, platypus, pretty bad. Um, you can purchase a platypus, and if you have an open space, then it has a neutral effect where it doesn't really aff negatively affect your board. All it does is positively affect it, kind of like an oyster. But you need that four space, and you're not really going to have a four squad on this uh, weekly. Uh, praying Mantis is horrible. There's not many things you want to trigger with the Praying Mantis, and even the ones you want to trigger, nah, it's still not really worth it. I wouldn't purchase this. Uh, yeah, you can use it to scale itself up, but I'd rather just focus on a 5 squad than a 4 squad with a strong Praying Mantis. Skunk, it's pretty nice. Uh, even though I don't really like going Skunk, if I'm getting outscaled by my opponents, then I'm just going to purchase one skunk, and then everything that they were doing kind of just falls apart. And if it has more attack than the hawk, let's say they have a 10 HP goldfish with 10 attack. Or a, let's just make it easier, a 9 HP goldfish. You put a skunk, and your skunk has more attack than your hawk. Then, whenever it procs, this goes into 6 health. Then your hawk, if it's aligned with their goldfish, can take out their strongest unit, then you're good. Uh, but it has to have more attack than the hawk, so watch out for that. Um, you can position this anyway with a hawk and or with a hawk do some finicky things, and it's pretty good. Uh, the tar, you can also technically do it on. Okay, ba 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 ba. Um, I know what you're thinking. There's a panther, so this is really strong. Honestly, um, the interaction's nice, but it's nothing compared to a snapping turtle. I just kind of put it on the low end of a good pick. But um, I'm not going to focus too hard on this ability proccing with the Puma or with the Panther. A Pie is a great pick. Pie is really nice. You're going to want this on two of your units or so. Um, it feels really good. And it's just overall a great food perk. Waffle is very good. Both of these food perks are so great. And that's what's so great about this pack is there's a lot of great picks here. Uh, waffle feels great. You can put it on a carry unit. It can scale. In fact, I'd even say it's a little bit past pie. It can scale up a unit for you uh, that's carrying. It can also interact with a cow, which is nuts that they have cow this weekly with cat. What the fuck? <laughs> that's amazing. Um, so these both feel really good. Donut does not feel good. Into the garbage can you go. Cow is god tier. And cow... Is something you should always try to pick up, especially with a waffle. And if you get a cat, you're going to the moon. It is amazing. Um, cow is such a good pick to put on your team. You should really struggle to try to put this on your team once you find it. Because if you run to a waffle, I mean, the sky is the limit. Uh, fox, it's okay. 
If I find an early level two fox, I'll consider it, or a one and a half in a chocolate bar. But besides that, yeah, there's a couple good tier six uh, and five foods, but there's not a pear. And a pear is kind of what I look for, or maybe like a, not really even a lettuce. Uh, it's kind of what I look for whenever I look for uh, foxes. So hyena, hyena is pretty good. No, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Just kidding. Hyena is garbage. Please ignore that. Um, monkey, it's a great pick. You can scale up one of your units really strong. Uh, it's easy to do. You just kind of set it and forget it. There's not an orangutan to throw it off. So um, generally, it's just always a good buy. Puma, not Puma. It's Panther. Panther is a great pick. If I see a Panther, I'm generally always going to want to buy it. And what's great about Panther is early on, yeah, you can get it to level two, start scaling it up with a pie. But if it's not working out too well, and if you don't have a tar in front of it, what you can do instead is transition from a pie to a pancake onto it. And then it scales up all of your units really well. So Panther, it has uh, quite a bit of utility and it just works really well. Okay, I thought I almost had to redo this entire list. So anyway, uh, chocolate bar. Always going to be in the great pick. I feel like it's never going to be in the god tier pick. Just because uh, it's kind of boring to put it in there. Uh, Rhino. It's a pretty decent pick. You can get a really strong Rhino. Especially with, like, with a moth later. With some additional unit support. Like a pan uh, pancakes. With milk. With a cow. Things like that. You can get it some attack. There's a dodo bird. And... Uh, with these semi low HP units, if you get like a level two rhino and you hit once, it can potentially take out a scorpion, it'll take out a hawk, it'll take out a couple pretty decent units, so it doesn't feel bad. Uh, scorpion, it doesn't have mushroom, which kind of would make it almost invincible, but even then, a scorpion feels pretty good, just if your opponent's uh, kind of outscaling you. They'll usually want to put a pie on one of their units, and you can punish them pretty hard for that, unless it's a Doberman. Uh, sushi, it's okay. I will buy sushi sometimes if I see it, but there are just a lot of better choices. Swordfish, um, swordfish is decent sometimes. You can scale it, and it can help kind of carry you. Uh, I don't really care for it. I think that it's a little bit too gimmicky, and it belongs in Arena instead of 1v1s. But if you like to use it, I understand. Uh, taco, pretty okay choice again. But Vulture, Vulture is god tier. Vulture can make a lot of builds work. It works really well in conjunction with a bear, but a lot of people seem to forget it at times. I do too as well. Uh, there's an Orca later on, and uh, technically Honey is actually really strong. You can put a Honey on a Panther, and then that summons multiple units. You can put a Bear and then a panther and then your vulture put a melon on your vulture this dies this gave pancakes uh, buffs to everybody or pie on itself and then now your level two panther has two procs with the honey from the uh, the bee that died which gives it another ability proc so works really well in this weekly if you see a vulture it's very tempting but you need to get it out of out of hawk range because your opponent can counter you but that's really easy to do if you just purchase one waffle and then get it to like level one and a half. So a lot of good choices. Cat is extremely good. I'm going to put it just in the great pick tier. Just because sometimes you're going to get unlucky and not buy a cow. But if you do buy a cow, the next thing you're going to want to look for is a cat. You're going to be really happy with it. Uh, dragon. Uh, dragon kind of feels bad. Personally, like it's okay scaling. But there's a couple other good choices. That you're going to want to do before you start messing around with the dragon. It kind of sets your team. But um, if you find like a dragon and you can get it to level 2 early. Then that's just pretty much an insta win. But you have to find that. Komodo dragon is okay. And I would put it uh, slightly past the dragon. Because if you generally. Unless you're running a vulture. Or a woodpecker. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The I, I guess it's kind of bad. Right. I, I'll put it in okay, just because it also negatively interacts with the hawk. I'm just finding a bunch of reasons why this might actually be bad. But um, the wet, wide scaling on it uh, can feel really nice, especially without Siberian Huskies or Poodle options. Uh, the Komodo Dragon can find a place to shine. Lionfish, it's a pretty good pick. 
Um, if you can scale it fast enough with a cow and a cat, which you certainly can, then it feels a lot better. But uh, it just kind of depends on your RNG if you can hit it fast enough. Uh, melon armor, it's a great pick. It's really good for your late uh, team units. But sometimes you just kind of want to leave the pie on them. Uh, not so much that it's better. Or like pancakes, for instance. It's not so much that it's better. But if you already spent the three gold, you might be rolling for additional things. And you can kind of pass the melon armor, depending on how you're doing. An orca, it's a decent pick. There's walrus also which kind of helps buff it a little bit. Plus there's Vulture, which is nice, which can summon faint units, which can summon more units, which all works well in conjunction with a Vulture. But um, me personally, I don't really like picking up Orca that much. There's too much variability. But if I'm running a Vulture, then I will pick it up. An Oyster is always a great pick. Uh, you will sometimes find that you'll have a fifth slot that's maybe in rotation, like with a cow or something like that, or you bought a monkey for one turn. So just go ahead and pick up an uh, oyster, buy, sell, and it just gives you a couple options. Pancake is a great food. I'll put it right here. Yeah. Uh, pancake is a great choice. Um, it can white scale your units. You can put it on one of your scalers. You can put it on a panther later, and it even procs harder. Uh, there's a lot of good reasons to pick it up. Pretzel is a great food purchase. Uh, pretzel is great. I would say it's right behind this, actually. Maybe put it right here. That's fair right there. Uh, because a lot of times you're going to only have tier 4 uh, through tier 6s on your team. And so if you purchase a pretzel, then it'll uh, double proc. And if you have a cat, then that's a plus 8, plus 8 on a unit, which is amazing. Tiger... Kind of falls flat. Yeah, you can put it behind a vulture, but then it bumps it up one space. I don't really care for it, but there are times where you want to do that. Plus, the only... Uh, yeah, you can put a hawk to snipe this, but even then, it's not, it's not too great. Uh, a tiger can be nice at times. I just find that you have to do a lot to make it work, and I don't really care for it. But if you do enjoy it, I can see why. Uh, walrus... It's a pretty good pick. It can help you deal with some of your opponents if they're kind of scaling out of hand late game. And then with an Orca, things like that, it can feel pretty good. Um, and then you can put like a Vulture behind it. You're starting to proc again. Maybe that can help pivot you to the end. Or you can just have one big unit that you put at the very back that doesn't get the peanut. And this can kind of help wipe a couple units. Well, the Beast, to finish off this list, uh, it's complete garbage. Don't purchase a Will the Beast if you see it. Uh, it has no trumpet interactions, and it's just generally horrible. Um, so this is the list, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.